This is a pin-connected truss functioning as a railroad bridge over the Connecticut River at Warehouse Point in East Windsor, Connecticut. This bridge was built by the New York, New Haven, and Hartford Railroad in the early 1900s and uses a seven-panel structure with features of Baltimore and Pratt-style trusses. The bridge is now used by Amtrak in their northeast regional routes connecting New York, Hartford, and Boston. The diagonal members in the bridge are called counters giving these panels an X-shaped look. Vertical mid-panel hangers suspend the floor system from the truss. Okay, so here we've made a simple drawing of the bridge. Uh, we see that we have a uh, roller at A, so it provides an upward reaction force. Um, and we have a pin at U, so it's providing an upward and sideways reaction force. Uh, we have some dimensions, so we see that uh, we get 17.5 feet to the halfway mark and then another 17.5 feet to the top of the bridge. And we see that each section of the bridge is 25 feet away from each other, so in total the bridge is 175 feet long. So our task is we want to find uh, the force in member CF given in a thousand pound downward force at D. So we want to find the magnitude of this force as well as the um, if it's in tension or compression uh, so we can determine uh, how the member is going to be loaded. Um, so for this problem I would recommend using the method of sections like we learned in class uh, because the method of sections allows you to cut a structure, you know, a truss at any point um, as long as you're going through no more than three sections and then find the internal uh, forces directly uh, by analyzing that uh, cut alone as opposed to the method of joints where you have to go through and actually find every single force and every single joint until you get to the one that you want. Um, so that would take a lot longer and it would be um, in a structure like this where we have, I don't know, probably 20 points, it would take a lot of time. So I would again recommend using the method of sections so you can cut through the bridge right here or wherever and you would be able to find um, through equilibrium what the force in CF is going to be directly after you found the reactions.